conditions in factories, in prisons, this is Gloria all Steinem. over the world. This is Gloria Steinem. I thank each of you, and I especially want to thank the hardworking visionary organizers of this woman-led inclusive march, one of whom managed to give birth while she was organizing this march. <laughs> that sometimes we must put our bodies where our beliefs are. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes pressing send is not enough. <laughs> and this also unifies us with the many in this world who do not have computers or electricity or literacy, but do have the same hopes and the same dreams. I think that because I and my beloved co-chairs, the golden oldies, right? <laughs> Harry Belafonte, Dolores Huerta, LaDonna Harris, all these great people, we may be the oldest marchers here today. So I've been thinking about the uses of a long life. And one of them is that you remember when things were worse. We remember the death of the future with Martin Luther King, with Jack Kennedy, with Bobby Kennedy, with Malcolm X. Without those deaths, for instance, Nixon would not have been elected and there would not have been many of the wars we have had. Now, our great leaders like Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, remember how much we feared they might not be and how much threat there was in fact on their lives and they are with us and now our honored Bernie Sanders is still with us <laughs> and not only with us but he's focusing on economic justice and achieving free universal college education in my state of New York now Hillary Clinton is alive. And definitely not in jail. She who told the whole world that women's rights are human rights and human rights. Collectively, violence against females in the world has produced a world in which, for the first time, there are fewer females than males. I'm not trying to deny the danger that this day initiates. Trump and his handlers have found a fox for every chicken coop in Washington and a Twitter finger must not become a trigger finger. Some very experienced doctors of the American Psychiatric Association have publicly written to warn us that, and I quote, his widely reported symptoms of mental instability, including grandiosity, impulsivity, hypersensitivity to slights or criticisms, and an apparent inability to distinguish between fantasy and reality, <laughs> lead us to question his fitness for the immense